Hello, my name is Tony. Welcome back to another episode of Atherscraft. Last time you might remember me talking about my plans for the future, and one of the plans that I had talked about was working on a XP store with Fireman King. Well, we have a plot of land where we had dug out and started work on making the uh, XP store. Now, the only issue with this area is that we are not able to continue using it as the thing that we want to be able to use to make the uh, XP with the furnaces is kelp and there's currently a bug going around with the kelp where if you start growing it and then allow the pistons to do their thing eventually the kelp will just stop growing for some reason it's, it's a strange bug I'm not really sure what's causing it or how if there's even a fix um, I know there are solutions I believe that you can do but uh, honestly it's, it's, it's not great for what we want to try and do here and Fireman's put so much work into putting all these pistons in that we kind of just decided we're just going to leave this alone we're going we're gonna to put this project on hold for now and uh, come back to it another time I think when hopefully the kelp is uh, fixed in the future updates hopefully um, but speaking of Fireman King I have heard that he's been working in the community farm on a very interesting project. So uh, let's go and have a look at what he's been up to. So leading up to the community farm, DC is now finished working on the tunnel, which is nice. So no more attacks by the ghosts. And uh, yeah, looking pretty nice. So I like what he's done. Uh, I believe he's got a future project where he's going to put a new uh, airlock zone over here so we people can fly in and out from airlock 1 to airlock 2 which is going to be great I believe there's also other projects he's got planned over behind over here but I'll leave that for you to find out over on his channel anyway uh, in the community farm we go so uh, you may have saw a slight glimpse over on the uh, well to the left of me now it was on the right but here we are inside the community farm and I've managed to dig up most of the area now as we've got to the four corners and the corner behind me. I just need to dig out this last little bit over here which I haven't had time to be able to finish off just yet. Um, but what do you think of the uh, the central point? I think it looks quite nice. I'm, I'm quite liking sort of the design I managed to pull off here and uh, yeah I think, I think it's looking pretty good. Now let's have a look at what Fireman King has made. Whoa. This is massive. <laughs> uh, yeah, this thing is absolutely massive. So this is a an XP uh, store. And the way he's done it is that he's used a potato. And in basically he's cooked, cooked the potato up. And then the potato then gets turned into bone meal uh, for later use I guess. Up, up on the top here as you can see there is a farm going on right now and uh, you've got the bees they're gonna be growing making the crops grow and then you've got the uh, the villagers going around picking up the crops and then they're gonna pass, try and pass it on to this guy. The hoppers I believe will then take the items and send it down into the XP uh, furnaces down here. So let's have a look inside. I believe there's some, some instructions so let me uh, read that. Okay, so I had a little read of what's down here on the main floor and it kind of just basically gives you a, a main instructions on how things work. So uh, the idea is that this lever up here determines whether if bone meal or cooked potato comes out. So uh, at the moment bone meal is currently being generated and coming out, uh, which is probably easier to manage and to turn into like bone blocks and such, which at the moment it's looking like it's getting full, so I might help do something about that and change up that into blocks or something maybe. And then over here, this is the example of what's up there. Uh, now the button on the left here, uh, this is for maintenance only, this is not to be pressed by Luxings, this is for Fireman King only or for anyone else who is responsible of maintenance. Uh, the actual items in the furnace will be available so we'll see obviously there'll be uh, cooked potatoes being worked on but then if there's a stack of 64 ready here we should be able to take that out I don't know if there's like an indicator upstairs to determine that that might be from this uh, and then this button here once we've taken out our item in the corner here 
we then simply just press this button and the whole process will start again and start filling it up. So let's head on upstairs and see what ones are available. So we've got lots of different chests here, let's see. That one's still cooking by look things, so that might not be ready. Um, these are still being worked on. So I'm noticing that some of them have lights on, some do not. So I'm going to assume the ones with the lights on mean that they're done. So let's have a look. No. Ones that light... Ah, the ones with the lights off. Okay, so a good helpful indication by looks things would be if, the, if the, the left light is off, that means it's ready to be used. So that would mean that... That one's being worked on right now. That one's not being wrecked on. Okay, so it's starting from here by lip things and going round. And it's done a couple. So, okay, well, let's start from the beginning here and uh, try things out. So I'm going to I'm gonna repair my shovel and see how that works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that in my hand, make sure I'm holding onto the item, come in here, and we'll, we'll uh, shift click the baked potatoes out. Yeah. And I got the potato. So now I've taken the potato, I should press this button. And that's very loud. <laughs> I'm assuming what's happening there is that all the potato inside is being deposited. So let's have a look inside of here. Nope, that one's still being worked on, so... So I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure what's happening there, but it's very, very noisy, that's for sure. Let's, let's uh, move away from this place for a minute. <laughs> so yeah, that that is a very noisy machine once it's uh, been activated. Uh, I don't know <laughs> if anything can be done about that, but that's fine. Ah, it's right here. I can hear it. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. I got my shovel now all repaired and some free potato. So pretty cool stuff. Thank you, Fireman King, for making this. This is an, a wonderful addition to the uh, community farm. Um, now I definitely want to uh, go ahead and make something here at some point as well. I think I'm definitely going to go with my uh, cactus farm idea. I think so people can get some free cactus every now and again, which I think would be good. And that's it for the time being. I'm afraid I don't have any more uh, time on my hands to do any more, unfortunately. Next time I'll be working on a cactus farm. I'll probably put it somewhere uh, along near the back wall somewhere so I can leave the uh, open area to other people who may have like uh, smaller farms uh, that are more eye level perhaps, because my one I plan to make quite tall. So we'll uh, probably put it up near the back wall somewhere. Thank you Fireman King for making this awesome uh, XP store, well not store isn't it, it's an XP farm thing. And uh, to anyone on the realm who are watching this video now, I encourage you to also come down and build something cool, something amazing, you know, whatever. Uh, it doesn't even have to be amazing, just, just, you know, just come down, put something together that you think will be great for the uh, community to be able to use, such as, you know, could be melons, pumpkin, wheat, carrots, or it doesn't even have to be uh, food related. It could be other other cool redstone things that you feel that would be appropriate for a community farm like thing. Because this the whole area is in a ticking zone chunk, so so long as someone's online, this area will always be active. So yeah, so come on down, can build something, have fun, and uh, yeah. Anyway, that's enough for today. If you liked today's episode, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content in the near future. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.